makes this car so rare? What makes this car different from all other Mark VI Bentleys is its one-of-a-kind body. It's an open, what we call drophead coupe that was built by Moliners of Birmingham. There is no other car like it in the world. My name is Chris Clark. I'm an automobile consultant assisting the owner of this wonderful 1952 Bentley, which is going to be offered for sale. This car was created by Sir John Black, a noted industrialist of England who served his country during World War II and was honored by being knighted by King George VI for his service. He took the existing automobile manufacturing facilities and rapidly converted them to help the war effort by manufacturing many parts, as well as aircraft and other heavy equipment that helped defeat the German army. Well, after World War II, most automobile manufacturers in England were looking at uh, a way to get started again. So Sir John Black ordered a Bentley Mark VI chassis. He had a goal of having a custom body design in secrecy as to avoid any detection from other manufacturers for a possible prototype of a small sports car. He had a plan of building a body on a Bentley that no one would ever know about to help with the development of Triumph producing their first sports car. Well, Moliners of Birmingham had a designer named Stuart Peck. He was given the task to design the car from inception to completion. And it was the first time he had ever done a car completely all by himself. His training and background uh, was primarily from the French design. As you can see from the front fenders, how they have sweeping curves and tail off all the way to the back fenders is a common French design. There were very few of the total production Mark Sixes that were convertibles. And in fact, most of them were built by Park Ward, which was owned by Bentley. So very few were truly custom coach built cars. And this is one of those few. The car also has the larger displacement engine, the 4.6 liter motor, giving it a higher top speed on the open road. It's all steel construction, helped it have added strength, which most open cars lacked. The use of pressed highlights instead of chrome to provide a framework for designing paint colors that harmonize color with contour suggests motion and speed. Well, in the classic car market, especially in the upper end, it attracts a very unique clientele who are looking for special, rare, unique, one-of-a-kind cars. What I enjoy about this car, first off, it's a post-World War II car. Before the war, Bentleys were, were very elaborate custom coach work. After the war, they stopped producing these luxury custom coach work cars in mass numbers. Here we have one of those, which gives it its rarity. There is no other car like this in the world. This is a one of a kind. You can say it's a Bentley, there's more than one Bentley. You can say it's a Mark VI, and there's more than one Mark VI. But what you can't say is that there's another one of this coachwork on a Bentley chassis. To me, what makes a car beautiful is its design. And this has got so many unique things going on to it. But having the shape and the roundness and the fullness in, the, in this French-inspired design on top of a Bentley chassis, which is one of the most reliable, trustworthy chassis engine combinations, you have a combination of two of the most perfect things, the most wonderfully engineered car and the most beautiful looking Audi.